Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm thinking right now we want to concentrate on getting at least one or two of these rooms finished. We're several days into the game now, and by then, we should have a wild animal and then some kind of a of a lone attacker coming in, and maybe even a drop pod hit. So kind of the, the, the things that typically hit uh, right at the beginning. So... I want to concentrate their efforts. Let me pause this and think about this. Before I started, I went ahead and marked all the trees for uh, cutting or chopping. So it looks like Rabbit is working on that right now. Um, got all the stones set for hauling. If we don't, then basically the one that does the construction has to stop and move the stone and then build and then cut the tree and then build. So if we can get the other ones to pop in here and help out too, that'd be great. Though Klaus and Shantigo must have their mining set uh, quite high. Oh, Shantigo now is going to go cut a tree. Great. So that all needs to get done handy. You are hauling steel. What room? This looks like it's Actually, this over here's probably got the least to do. The door's in and the vent's in already. We already have power here as well. Let's have Handy just dive right into doing that one. Um, Shantigo, let's get the the uh, limestone chunk hauled away. Klaus just finished. You can haul the other one away. And that is all the obstacles here. Okay. So we'll do that. Um, Rabbit, maybe you can fill in all the wood from... Okay. When I had Handy do this one, she grabbed enough wood to do a lot of the area. So apparently she's got enough to go all the way down to there. Can She's got that one taken care of. She's... Oh, never mind, never mind. Cannot prioritize. I make an assumption when these warnings pop up that what it is without reading it. He, Rabbit apparently doesn't have uh, construction on, which means he can't do any. Construct. Yeah, let's let's change that right now. So four and four. They're never going to do it on their own, but I can tell them spur of the moment to bring some wood over there. Right there. And so that's everyone assigned. No, Klaus. Yeah, you're assigned. Okay. So Tomislav is heading over to work on something over here. Drop off some wood. And great. Shantigo's dropping off the stones over there. Starting to rain. Interesting. It's starting to rain, which is going to ruin things. Um, rabbit, you are sowing area. Why? Because the turkey ate a plant. Uh -huh. Let's have you instead um, haul this one in, then haul this one in. Any more of these outside? Anything else outside that we don't want just sitting out there getting ruined? Um, we did do a little bit of random harvesting of the heel roots, though those are the only two that I see that got done that are sitting outside getting ruined. Everything else looks okay. Alright, that's fine. Then he'll grab these two and put them away. Okay. Um, over here, Handy, once you get back to uh, concentrating over, I'll well, say right there. She'll, find, she'll bring everything it takes to do that. Klaus, you are working on trees. Let's have you bring all of the wood for that area. And Tomislav is going to grab something to eat, which we need to get a table and chair out here too, just to make sure that, uh, let's see, you can do that one, that uh, they don't get that negative debuff too often. Shantigo, can you bring over whatever it takes to fill in this corner? Okay, let's get this bedroom done and this bedroom done. The way we've got a quick hospital, we've got a quick... Uh, uh, prison, if we need it. And for that matter, we can go ahead and get these guys set. Furniture, bed. We'll use these beds, or we'll make new beds. Meaning, we'll take one more chance of coming up with some better quality beds than we had before. You there. And there. Okay. And we've got a couple additions to the game since I played it before. The end table. I noticed these when I was doing some practice runs. Uh, small table, if you read over here. Set, actually I can click. Then it'll stay. Um, bedside table makes the nearby beds a little bit more comfortable. Must be placed directly adjacent to their head. But I believe in my test, you could put it between two beds, right at the head of them, and both will get a bonus. So, um, what does it say? Makes the nearby beds a little more comfortable. That's what I want to hear, want to see. Okay, so we'll do bedside tables or end tables. These will. Rotate, yes. So there and there will be fine. Then you got the dresser has been added. 
So a dresser gives a small comfort bonus to all nearby beds. Placing more than one dresser near the same bed will have no effect. So the dresser and the end table do not stack their effect. You can't fill a bedroom with 97 dressers and get any more bonus out of it. Now let's go ahead and put one of these in the room too. Uh, there and there will be fine. So 20 hundred, so 8 p.m. Let's get this done. Who else is around? Shantigo. Uh, you can bring over the wood for that one. Who else is still down here? Any names? We have Rabbit coming in to So Area. That's not critical. We have lots of food. Can you work on that one? Everybody bring wood over. And by having them cut the trees down in here, that's also dropping raw resources right in the area that we need them. So that works out too. And can you bring over any wood for that one? Let's just keep bringing it all over handy. Why don't you continue working on that one? I'm guessing by tomorrow we're going to get some event that hits, if not even middle of the night. So I want to be ready for that. Otherwise, boy, this rain is really coming down. Rain reduces the accuracy of ranged weapons, extinguishes fires, and slows down people. Interesting. It also makes them wet and cold, I would I wonder. I wonder if, the, if that's been built into the game yet or not. Needs... Awful barrack, ugly environment, ate without a table, and in the darkness. They don't like being out here in the dark. But nothing about being wet and cold. Okay. You do get negatives for being too cold, but we are at 72, which is pretty comfortable. So, a 72 to... Well, in the rain, of course, it feels a little colder. An 80 degree rain, that would be nice. Alright, Handy's finishing up in here. 2200, time for her to go to bed, so I guess she'll be finishing in the morning. Turkey just collapsed over and went to sleep. <laughs> Rabbit. Okay, so let's work on a few things while they're sleeping, right? Nothing going on up here that I wish I had noticed? No, except we're kind of ruining... Well, they're not really ruining these. Be nice to get these put away first thing in the morning. Okay. These ship chunks, at least used to, provide the... Uh, Right there, the components, which are miscellaneous gears, capacitors, circuit boards, tubes, wheels, sensors, wires, chips, processors, and other electronic and industrial parts necessary for assembling complex machines or electronics. So it's just a general category of stuff that you need to throw in to get things like uh, cook stoves working, you know, the thermostats and things like that. So let's get conduit into here, get a battery going. Once we get maybe two rooms up, then we'll shift over to get power going. Um, power, conduit. Generically, we're going to want to run through here and through and into the building. And conduit has an ugly factor. So power conduit, information, beauty is negative two. So to have a bunch of conduit strewn across your floors. Think of the old metal conduit, you know, in more of an industrial uh, building. Now put that in the middle of your bedroom. Just, you know, running running along the floor. Kind of uglifies it. Oh, can't do this. Let's... Hmm. Tell you what, let's cancel this and run you up and over and back down like so. Anyway, what I'm saying is, if you put it inside the wall, then you don't get the effect of that negative two. It goes away. The wall hides it. And most objects are going to have extension cords that will reach over so many squares. So if you just get them in the walls, for the most part, it will cover everything nicely. We're running through the doorway there, up through here, like so. Um, maybe up the center here, like that. Up into here. Each one of these is one steel, and you see uh, the one right next to my cursor and a piece of steel. As you move it through, you'll see it starting to accumulate, so you can get a sense of what it's going to cost you before you let go of it. Um, yeah, I'll stop there. We already ran to here. That gets this guy going. And don't need so much to worry about conduit outside. The outside is pretty and ugly, depending on what's what you're actually looking at. But that gets power to from these guys to here. And as these build, there will be conduit automatically built into the, uh, the solar panels and the wind turret. But we do need to store that power at night. And we need to be able to turn the power on and off at times. So, I need to think about that. If I were to put a switch in here, 
and then conduit down and eventually put another bank of batteries in and put a switch there and a switch there. I can choose which pathway I want the power to be running through, shutting down one bank or the other. There's, there's, there's ways to make that happen. Right now it's not that critical. There'll be a switch built there allowing us to turn off power, battery, maybe one, two, three, four batteries. Something like that. It's 50 steel and two components for each. We're sitting on 40... If I do another one, just randomly right there, that 47, does it go to 45? It doesn't, so it doesn't count until they build it. Ah, so you have to recall what you've, or keep a, a sense of what you've put in there. So we've got uh, eight components about to go away. So we have 39 left, and we're sitting on still 1,000 steel. We have, what, 35 in each of these stacks? Yeah, so they get 35 for every square of steel. I think it was Tony that had mentioned in the comments, somebody did, that there was steel north of us. And I had joked, oh, up there where the uh, where the bugs are, right? But no, it's not here. Let's, what was he referring to? Ah, there's a big, big vein of it right there. Okay. And it's already getting light out. It, nighttime feels like a long time until you s try to start talking through it. And then it goes by way too fast. I was going to lay out a whole bunch of stuff so they can get started on it. <clears throat> we need to get to cooking. We've got, need a meal source. And it's not triggering low food yet. When it does, I think it gives you a, a sense of, of what you're about to, uh, you know, what you have left, like a three-day limit or so. You have no way of preparing meals from raw food. Build a stove, campfire, or nutrient dispenser. It cannot be in a prison cell, otherwise colonists cannot use it. Okay, nice little hint there. We've got a lot of food that's going to be popping out of here soon. Well, some sooner than, than others. The rice goes the fastest. Rice plant. And food, that reminds me. Somebody. Was it Quiet Mirth? No, it was. Or was it Tony? I think it was Tony. I also mentioned our, our strawberry patch over here that I put in to replace the, uh, the cotton that went in here. Yeah. He said, Did you ever switch that to strawberry? And I did not. <laughs> so when they go through and take out the potatoes, let's try to remember to put some strawberry in there. Yeah, I got sidetracked. So we've got no strawberry. Your cotton. We got no strawberry? No, oh, we can't have that. We can't have that. There's one more real good patch of of rich soil over here. We gotta have strawberry. Rabbit can throw this in real quick. Okay, let's do strawberry. Zone and row. And let's just grab... Oh, I thought I was hearing thunder. I was hearing this low rumbling roll through my studio here. It turns out that it was uh, a noise from the other side of the wall, like someone's rolling a vacuum cleaner down the hallway. Never mind. <laughs> strawberry, where are you? Right there. Okay, so we've got a patch of strawberry up here, and eventually we'll convert that over to... Okay. They're going to build this, and I want to really specialize this. Handy, you are. Now, let me give you a hint. Anything that already has the materials laid into it, like these right here. This is a wooden bed, and 7 of the 35 wood has been brought over, so a bad example. This one right here, there. A wooden end table, 30 of 30, is there. Anything that's got all the materials in there, your constructor will go to those first before she or he will go get more materials and start in a new area. So if you can randomly just say, Shantigo, go fill up all the wood over here, and he'll bring 75 and start dispersing it, and have Rabbit do it, and Tomislav do it, and Klaus do it, and then turn Handy loose, she'll just sit there and do nothing but build. She won't have to waste her time going to get wood over and over and over again. So that's why I set everybody to a four in places. Even if they're not skilled to do it, they won't, they'll never get through all of their twos and threes, most likely, to ever get down to the four. Because if we had Rabbit at a construction level of four build something, he's going to do a very poor quality job. So you don't want him building, but if you enable it, you can at least right click and order him to bring stuff over. So that's a, that's a good tool to have at your disposal. And I need. Yep, that's a vacuum cleaner. I can hear it in the background. Hopefully you guys can't. Um, I need Handy to be working on, I guess, that one. Prioritize constructing floor or, or bed. Ah, we'll do the floor. 
Klaus, you are having a conversation with Shantigo, right? Nice chat with Shantigo. Good. And Shantigo, yeah, everyone's in. in uh, everyone's a good friend of Klaus. Um, Klaus, can you bring the rest of the wood over to that bed? Shantigo, can you? You thought you were harvesting a poplar tree. Can you bring over? Actually, can you harvest this one? I will clear the space to get this room done. Okay. And who else is out here? Ham is still asleep. And that's right. We saw Ham and... Where is... What's our other dog's name? Right there. Sienna. They were making a lot of little hearts fly up the other day. I think it will say on here. At least it will say in health. If she's pregnant. It doesn't say anything. Okay. So that's not an issue right now. But eventually we're going to have puppies. Or so I'm guessing. Okay, once a room is completed, they they seem to really prioritize putting in the uh, put in in the roof. Low food, there it is. So it seems like an alpha or two ago, I was hearing everybody complaining that you had to really force them to put a roof in. So now it's a lot more uh, uh, it's taken further up in their priority list. Low food, you are dangerously low on food. Full bars worth of food in storage, 20. Colonists and prisoners getting food, 5. Days worth of food in storage, 3. Grow, buy, find, or kill some food. <laughs> um, Andy, I want you to work over here. I want Tomislav building wooden door to bring some wood for this area. Um, work on wooden table. And... Klaus, you bring some wood over for this area. Prioritize. Okay. I guess that allowed us to... It said reserve for handy. But it still allowed me to do it. Interesting. I guess you can uh, overwrite previous orders. That's fascinating. Okay. And Tomislav is trying again at handy. Did it work? And Social attempted to woo Handy into a romance. She rejected his advance. That poor guy. Yeah, how many uh, rebuffed by? Yep, negative five. Uh -huh. Awful barracks. I'm hoping this is going to solve that. Anyway, we need food. And anything else going on before I dive into that? There's Sienna. There's Rabbit planting strawberries, which have a pretty fast growth rate. I wonder. Strawberries... And pause a second here. Strawberries. Does it tell me the... It seems like it did. How many days? Where am I looking here? Attributes, fertility, requirement, flammability, growing time. 4.62 days. As compared to... Hill root. Cut plants. I can't get it. There it is. An eye right there. 4.62 lifespan. Growing time. 6.5. That's not as long as I thought it would be. Is it the longest one? Uh, Devil Strand, I think, is one of the long ones. We don't have that planted right now. All right, so this is happening. And who else is available to Shantigo? Can you bring me some more wood for this area, please? I guess I didn't get a Shantigo there. There we go. Prioritize bringing that in. Oh, and Tomislav just got overwritten. Interesting. It will work that way now. All right, I'll give it back to him. He's going to grab what he was bringing, and he'll do it. Neat. Okay. Anyway, we have a lot of food that's going to be coming out of here. Where are we going to put it? Eventually, it's going to go here somewhere. That guy can see uh, long term. You kind of want your uh, food storage, your freezer and or refrigerator, or both, somewhere near the gardens. So I can see an entrance going into our colony somewhere over here. Maybe right up in this area. Head out, grab it, go in and some kind of a refrigerated area venting out the heat from the little uh, cooler right there and then some kind of a kitchen area and then below that some kind of a refrigerator for meals that have been completed and then near that some kind of a dining room so they can grab the meal and eat the kitchen staff will grab the the foods prepare the meal drop it off in the refrigerator so it's a nice workflow that you can create here so that's all over there and that's about 20 episodes from now at the rate that I'm going. So what do we do for now? We can't cross the river here. We can only cross right there. Oh, speaking of that, there was something. i got too many things I want to do at once right now. There was something that I think it was Quiet Mirth that brought up. He was asking 
in the shallow part, can you pave it like you can pave out here to have them walk faster? Because the walk speed of concrete floor, uh, fast to walk on. Does it give me actual walk speed? I don't get the sense that it does, but it's, it's fast to walk on. And water, you can't... Okay, there we go. Walk speed 52%. Slow moving water. You can't click on a water tile, which tells me right now you probably can't pave there because you can't, can't click on a water tile. Just verify that. Yeah, you can't do it. Okay, that was an experiment I said I would give a try. Um, it doesn't make sense until you watch Night Ghost pour concrete underwater in seven days to die. And then uh, you kind of wonder what sort of thing got snuck into into the game, but it didn't get snuck into this one. Okay, so in that case, I'm thinking that this hollowed out area would make a good place to set up temporary storage for food. And we can haul out, hollow out a little bit more later as so we need more space. So that's probably a goal there. Now, anything that has... Uh, let's click away here. Un okay, this part right here. We have Overhead Mountain. Anything that has Overhead Mountain, if I'm correct, has the potential, a low potential, it doesn't happen very often, of spawning a hive. And all of these guys. You know what I've noticed? I don't think we have grown any more of these after all this time. When they do randomly spawn inside your base, it seems like every day another hive or two shows up and it, 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 the population grows quite fast. But uh, it's been pretty calm here. Well, I don't remember there being quite this many of these guys before, though. But still only one hive. Um, click the hive. That's right. Not reproducing. There's the answer. There's usually a timer dropping that at that point there'll be another batch coming out. But... So the hives that spawn naturally do not reproduce. Only the ones that spawn on you as a as an event will be the ones that are constantly kicking out more and more so that you have to deal with it. You can't uh, get away with not. All right, we've got some completed rooms here. We really do. Okay, then let's get them working on these three and then get power going. And then we'll get food going. And then I'm sure I'll be well out of time. What do you guys think? Do we want more short episodes or fewer long episodes or what what's uh, what's the general consensus of uh, how long these episodes are going i like to shoot for 40 i usually end up at 55 when i shoot for 40 because i forget to look at the clock and i'm having too much fun but uh, i know even for myself when you know, some of my favorite youtube channels i sit down to watch a, a video and i see it's a you know 58 minutes long and i look at my watch and i think i don't think i can get this in I'll set up a tab on Chrome and I'll watch 20, 30 minutes and then I'll move off and do something else and try to remember to come back. So our long episodes, uh, I know I'm gonna, if I ask a question, you know, do you want long or short, I'm going to get 49 different answers. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, I want to, let's set up furniture in here real quick and we'll move on. So in the furniture, which is really odd, you've got the lamps. I wish they were in power. That makes so much more sense to me, but they aren't. And after all of these alphas and now beta, we still don't have them where I think they belong. Lighting works in a radius, center of your light, and it will go out so much, you know, so much distance before it starts to drop in its value, which is like real lighting is. I don't remember what that that mathematical equation is, but it has something to do with with squaring. As you further you go out, you start taking the square root of it, and you start diminishing at a predictable rate as you go. It's similar in RimWorld. If you were to put this right out in the middle of the room, you would get the most light, the most benefit. So in a corner, it makes more sense for a standing lamp, but you're only going to get this 90-degree arc of, of benefit out of it. Though in a room this small, it's not that critical. So um, it's wanting to grab off of the closest conduit. That's something to notice right there. As these get built... In fact, let me do it right here. We can designate reconnect. We can reconnect. You'll see a little pop right there. If there are more choices around, then it will start popping into every choice that's available to it. You can choose which circuit you want pop, pop, pop this thing to be connected to. In case you're coming out of your batteries and you've got multiple conduits coming out, which we're going to have, I think, when I'm done. I'm going to put a switch room in here. 
then if you happen to have an you know an outside turret run going down over here and into your conduit in here and you build this and it automatically grabs the turrets which is off until you need them then you can reconnect and have it grab the interior so this light that I want to put in I notice it's grabbing the wrong place and we're gonna have a cord hanging out and uglify the place but uh, I'll do actually if I go over here I'm too far away to reach the extension cord doesn't make it so we'll do that and they'll when they build they'll grab the right thing over here we'll put you in right there and let's pop a bed into here and let's see e, as these beds build how are we doing this through the door and see the bed so as these beds build then we will uh, make a choice to keep them or to uh, grab a bed from the other side over there you know some of the better ones that's right. Um, I was just reading some of the comments before I started. That's why Quiet Mirth is on my mind. He left a, uh, a list for me. I was asking last time about the quality rankings, and it seems like the production tables will let you choose what quality you want to build. That's probably what I was trying to think of last time. But the rankings are awful, then shoddy, then poor, then normal, then good, excellent, superior, masterwork and legendary so good is better than normal normal is our baseline let's think of it that way so that good i got got that out of my notes now <laughs> i got a long list of notes here kind of take notes as you guys leave comments things i want to mention next time i was in furniture and I'll, let's, let's pop these in real quick then i'll turn them loose again but otherwise they'll go off and do something and i won't be noticing and then i'll be irritated that i didn't get to say no don't don't do that do this instead so it works easier for me to pause it. There's going to be lots going on soon. These first episodes, I want to uh, just take my time and and uh, and get things set up properly so I don't, don't have to end up tearing things down and redoing them. There's all the furniture. We've got conduit in here. Shantigo, how about you? What are you headed to right now? You're cleaning dirt. Thank you, but let's have you bring over some wood for that. Handy, is there anything? Ah... <sighs> I want this room done, but that's a tree to take down. It would be better to have you do something like this. I didn't get you. I did. Building wooden wall. Why can't I right click here? Interesting. Let the game run? I can't say work on anything. That's interesting. How come I cannot grab the solar panel? Huh. Well, I guess I gotta tell you to work on the turbine. Okay, Tomislav, you can bring wood to... No, it's already reserved by... Already reserved by. Okay, we won't make that mistake again. Um, why don't you bring some power, uh, some steel over to here? Hopefully, well, yeah, you're not set for construction naturally, so you won't just continue. So I could then um, hold down the shift and hollow that one, hollow that one, hollow that one see what happens there but if we can get materials dropped into these handy you can just sit there and and just keep building and yeah that's as far as you went and did I do something wrong you want to grab that steel too what are you doing you're hauling steel to stockpile I must have done the wrong thing I did I, I clicked on those okay then cancel all that and just do that thank you <laughs> okay yeah best laid plans okay um i need somebody to take that tree down that i need to get food started so shantigo is moving into there klaus is is doing great stuff including taking that tree down great okay before anything happens let's talk about food and is there anything else i started to talk about and got distracted i uh, know i want to make a room out of this we can lay that out structure wall we'll fill that in we'll fill these in we'll put temperature a cooler with blue aimed in right there we'll put a door right there and doors we have oh we don't research is going to give us auto doors okay we'll get into that some other time you've got the ability to make star trek like doors all by themselves motion censored or something so called auto doors and and Places where you go into, in and out of cold, you kind of want to... In fact, we could do even this. You, you want, preferably, some kind of an airlock. Seems to work pretty good. Like that. Let's take this tree down. It's just going to be in our way. 
Uh, I'll take those two and we'll cut this one. Uh, right there. Anyway, open, door opens, it closes, door opens, it closes. Less cool moves out, less heat moves in. And if you can have these as auto doors, it, it, it goes much quicker. Escape pod. Ah, it goes much quicker. So that we, uh, we don't have to keep reheating this, keep draining our batteries down, keep drawing more power on and on. Um, let's come right back to that. I want to continue what I was talking about in regard to getting food going. And I'm thinking if food is going to be produced here, it's going to be stored here, then we need to kind of get a kitchen out over here. We don't have to build an actual kitchen. We'll get less efficiency if we don't, but for now we can get by with putting a butcher table out here. It's going to yell at us for doing it, but we can do that. You are what? You're a regular wall. This whole thing's a wall. Door is there, air conditioner and door and air conditioner over here. Yes, all this is available. Let's... Yeah, let's butcher here. Well, let's get them close to the, the door. When they butcher the meat, they're going to drop it off. When they cook the food, they're going to drop it off. So let's get both of them as close to the door as I can. So right there, we'll have re uh, speed penalty because it's outdoors. Okay, so I guess it's just less efficient to be working out to, to be barbecuing instead of, of grilling on a on a real stove kind of thing. So production tables outside don't work as well as production tables inside. But we have the choice of electric stove or a fueled stove. So that's our butcher's table. This will be our fueled stove for now. Right there. Get these placed and zone. Build a roof. We'll put a roof over the top. Just a shallow one. Doesn't have to be too, uh, too intense, one space beyond each one. So let's do that a little differently. Right to there, right to there, and out. Okay. Little covered porch like area, and a butcher's table, and a cook stove. And we'll get into more of that as they get it built. We're down to 22 meals now. We've got an escape pod. You've detected an escape pod crashing hard nearby, just like our. Our colonists, our survivors, crashed as they came in. So apparently orbit around this planet is a pretty dangerous place. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. You can rescue them and send them on their way, or you can capture them for recruitment or slavery purposes. Now, in my practice game, I did what I saw Night Ghost do once in a game that he did. He just rescued them, and they were so pleased when they healed that they joined the colony. My practice game, I did that. They said thank you and left. So I'm going to capture instead of practice, instead of uh, rescue to make sure that we do get this person. Assuming we want this person, let's jump to location. It hasn't landed yet. Okay. Coming in. Boom. Ow. Man, there's a... That shook the planet. Killed the squirrel next door, too. <laughs> hmm. I see some berries over here. Is this squirrel eating berries? Wandering, okay. I'm getting distracted. Alright, we've got a drop pod. I've never actually read the information, because there isn't any. Okay. Because usually before I get there, it goes boom. We have Farmer. He looks kind of naked, too. Farmer, female. She's an oaf. We'll see what that is. And a female space refugee, refugee 39 and down. Character. All right, we've got not that skilled in attack. We've got capable of a little bit of passion for working with animals. We've got good passion for growing, which could be pretty beneficial. Hmm, though, you know, rabbits got that covered, but we've got a lot of growing over there. We've got other things to do with growing, and we've got two colonies eventually to think about. So, we'll get into all of this later. Traits are doable. I'd say we're going to want to keep Farmer. Farmer's the name. Laura Farmer. Character, that is character. Okay, so there's no nickname right now. Okay. An oaf has to do with medieval and yeah, medieval farm. Okay. So, we have someone that has landed. Someone that we could rescue or we could capture. Capture meaning detain and coerce to become part of our colony. I would say we're going to do that, which we cannot do until we've got a prison. 
So that's what I was kind of thinking might be happening. There we are. Boy, oh, I lost my way. Let's make this a temporary prison. That is done by clicking the bed and choosing prison or for prisoners. And also we can choose medical. So now we are a medical prisoner bed. And in a real quick prison cell, I, I like to put two beds in. One that is marked for medical, one that is only marked for prisoners. So that when they, because they cannot sleep in a medical bed, but they heal faster if they're in it. And if you don't notice that they've, that they have healed and they're, they're now cranky because they're too tired and they're sleeping on the floor because they're not allowed to sleep in their medical bed, then you've got the other bed sitting there waiting. So I like to put two in, but this will do for now. So I need someone to go rescue her. Who's got a good run speed? I want to say it was handy. Uh, character, you've got the jogger, but you're too valuable over here right now. So Klaus, you're the you're the warden. Why don't you go over and rescue uh, slash uh, capture down here, right? I lost her. Where'd she go? Zoom out. Should be a name, right? Or is that only for our people? Okay, where's the dead squirrel? <laughs> This isn't that big of a map, and yet, oh, I thought that I, I, I hit go to and went straight to it. I thought I went to over here. I see. Interesting. How are we going to get there? Ew. We have to go through here. How dangerous of a trip is this going to be? It is three in the afternoon right now. You wouldn't know it for all the rain. Could go through here. Just have to make sure he doesn't go through there. All right, Klaus, right there. Why don't you go and rescue, no, go and capture Farmer. And your pathway is going to be this way. So that is what the game chose for you, that is doable, okay. How injured is Farmer? That's something else you gotta evaluate. You get a, we have a cracked sternum, you have a scratch on the right leg and a gunshot to the torso. Hmm, I kind of wonder if pirates didn't attack a ship up there and kind of started killing off the crew and she managed to get into a life pod and, and eject. Gunshot to the torso. Um, we've got a bleed rate of 184% per day and death imminent in 12 hours. And then a, a severity rating for each one of these. So 9 of 25, 5 of 30, a deep scratch. And a 3 of 40. i got to get back up to 40 again to be healed. So we're going to have to do some medicine there. And speaking of medicine, we're health. We get to choose what kind of medicine we're willing to give her. Apparently we cannot until she is officially part of us. Okay. Klaus is over there on his way. No surprises for him. He should be fine. Okay. He's got his rifle out. He's all ready for, for anything. Over here, are you guys busy doing things like getting power going handy? I really could use some power going right over. You supplied everything but the one I wanted. Why? Now I can choose this. That is really weird. Wouldn't let me before. Huh. Okay. Well, we need power going. Though actually, I'm kind of thinking we want meals first. Why don't you go ahead and supply this first? Okay. That one's going to require uh, 80 steel. That one's going to require 95 wood. Klaus... Uh, what single or double click double click here you are so farmer is in agony over here pause health uh, pain is extreme consciousness is poor moving very poor so basically incapacitated manipulation poor talking and eating are poor right now uh, whole body yeah but there's four now now we cannot read anything on farmer until um, she gets in there, and we've got a squirrel it'd be nice to go and get. Um, I don't think we ever did really take a look at the map for predators. We'll have to do that soon. You've got, on a map like this, probably panthers, cougars, grizzlies, wolves. We're in the temperate forest. I'm thinking all those are possible. Shantigo's cleaning out the future refrigerator. That's, that's a good thing. Andy's working on the stove right now. Once we get butchering going, is our rat still here? Rat is still here and still fresh. Spoils in one day. Mmm. So, Handy is now hauling steel to cooler. Let's do this one first. And more wood there. Need 40 is going to give us 85. Need 10 more wood. 
And there's no more wood nearby. Okay. So, with that, if we click on Klaus, he is, here's his path on his way down to here. Then we'll get Tomislav to heal her up, and we'll get uh, Klaus to start uh, educating her in the ways of our colony, and coercing her that she, her, her best interest is in uh, becoming part of us. Uh, now, there are a lot of, of little things that attach to that in time. If this was a raid, and she came with her brother, uh, Len, who was killed by Tomislav, then she will hate Tomislav, even though she may become part of our colony, and they will be constantly at each other for the rest of the series. So there's a lot of little soap opera details that will come in with all this. We're at 8 p.m., and we're, we're there. All right, I'm going to pause right here. We have a chance of possibly, well... Most likely tomorrow morning, but let's do this because we have a lot more that's about to happen. The way that the production tables work, they have what are called bills. So at this table, the butchers, the wooden butcher table, which has a speed penalty because of being outdoors, we can add a bill for butcher creature. And what does the eye tell me? Butcher is a creature to obtain the meat in usable form. So it doesn't tell me a lot. Okay. But we want to butcher creature and really quickly we could just say do three of them or we can do this many times or until you have this many or do forever and that's the one we'll most likely use for butcher every time there's something to butcher come on down here and get it done but if you get into details you can really fine-tune this especially when you get into the cook stove you can choose what ingredients you want to use and how far away you're willing to walk to go and get them all kinds of things so what are we willing to butcher and thankfully in this game human corpses are automatically defaulted to no because there is the ability to force them to be cannibals as well as some will have the trait of being cannibal and they, they prefer to eat human meat and they get rather bummed when they can't that's not a game that we're going to play but that is available if you want to you can suspend this or by hitting the s or, or hitting this one you can do forever you can take the best stockpile which is right which is going to be right there or you can just drop on the floor for the meals, when we're in the kitchen, I'll select drop on the floor. In fact, here I will now too. Not, eh, probably not the meat, because that won't be very often. So when it's not that often, we'll go ahead and just take it in. So we'll take the best stockpile. Drop on the floor for meals, though, it takes a while for them to rot. Even out in the sun, unless we get into a heat wave, then that we, it'd be advisable to turn that off. But um, otherwise... Um, Shantico could just make meals and drop it, make it, drop it, make it, drop it, and it'll pile up three or four or five, and then someone like Klaus could just wander by, pick the whole stack up, drop it off, and you won't have Shantigo making the constant trips to go and get it, you know, into the fridge. Though he's going to be doing that for now, getting his material, so, yeah, that's going to be a problem for now. When we get the, the final kitchen going, we'll really make it efficient, but for now, it's, it's just going to be what it is. This, can I scroll out? Let's scroll out a little bit and get back into there you can choose how far you're willing to let the cook walk to go get his stuff the idea you don't want him to waste his time going all the way to the far corner of the map to get that squirrel to come back over here and butcher creature then you take this down until you pick a radius that is within a stockpile that has uh animal corpses so when they go hunting they'll bring the animal corpse to the stockpile then your cook will just go over to that stockpile and get it and come back so you can say don't go any further than this this radius right here it's not worth the time to go and do that i'd rather have you cooking meals than to go and get that squirrel and butcher it so we could, we've got the control of how far we're willing to let them go and you can choose how far how skilled you require them to be before they are allowed to do this task which is helpful for cooking meals and not getting food poisoning but butchering, it's a cook task, but it works really well for um, uh, training up cooks because it gives them some skill in their uh, cook right here. So does that tell me it does not? Let's go to Shantigo and character cook right there. So he is 13,979 out of 14,000. So he is almost ready to jump into level 12. Now, was it Klaus? Let me go back to work. Found out that I was, again, I keep mentioning Night Ghost. I was watching him play the other, a couple, 
a few times now on his on his stream on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV slash NightGhost49. Um, he was playing RimWorld for fun, and someone mentioned to him, I think Blindum did, that if you click on any of these, it will reorder that column based upon their skill level. So you don't have to sit here and hover over 4 of 20, 4 of 20, 5 of 20, 11 of 20. You can click it and we'll know that Rabbit is the best gardener. So cooking, Klaus is our next best. He's a 5 of 20. You want to get them to a 6 before you let them start making meals. So we could have Klaus work on butchering. So we could set him to cooking, but only for things that are allowed to be you know, 5 and, and less for skill level. So let me pop in here and do that here and see what, what I mean. So the butcher table details, anybody can do this. And he would be the one that would probably drop into that because Shantico is probably too busy uh, working on regular meals. So that would give Klaus the ability to work on butchering. So this is all set well enough right now. Hit points. I'm not sure how that works. I'm going to leave that. So we're done there. Let's move over to this one, though. Meals. Bills. Add a bill. Oh, it's already up in the screen because it was up in that one. All right. So now let's go back to this one real quick. I, I missed a step. We can also add a bill for make kibble. So this allows us to make dog food, basically, or, or animal food. Animal food. And which order you want them to do it in. If we're going to go on a major hunting spree and there's going to be 40 animals coming in because a huge herd of deer just roamed through. Or actually I saw on, on Nyko's stream a, a huge herd of caribou came running through his map. And you have you know, a, a very short amount of time to take down as many as you could. So something like that can happen. In which case there's going to be butchering for days. In which case animal food that was already running out is going to have run out before you'll ever get a chance to to make it because you're going to be butchering for days so you could grab this and move it up there and say make kibble first and when the kibble's done then go back to your butchering or if you've got a refrigerator that is full and you've got to get the, that stuff processed then you you butcher back up to the top and do that so different uh, different ways to do that depending on what you're doing make kibble which is made out of Raw meat and plants. So it requires both. Hay is a good use for it. And then raw foods, uh, a good use of the human meat if you were to butcher some, but don't want to feed it to your people, which we won't be doing. Or bug meat also is a problem uh, for people to eat. Insect. So you could cancel or clear everything and just have them use insect meat and store insect meat just for the purpose of making kibble out of it. We don't have any, so we're not going to adjust any of this. But let's do until we have 20 kibble. So, well, 35. Let's we'll hit the plus 25. Do until we have 35 kibble. And we'll make that and we'll set it aside. Though, that will take away a lot of our meat. Though, in our case, though, we're going to start hunting. So that shouldn't be a problem. So that's that's good. Um, we'll set for the same 60 or so as the other one. Anybody can make it, so there's another practice for cooking here on the on the uh, the butcher table. And not suspend it, do until you have, and we'll leave that there. I don't think it rots, so it doesn't matter if it sits on the ground and someone else... Actually, what I mean is we'll leave that, that there with dropping on the floor. So someone can go by and pick up a full stack of it and not worry about having to put it away every time. Okay, so that's good there, and so we've got kibble set. Now let's get into cooking. Cooking, add bill. We can make simple meals, fine meals, and lavish meals. And if I remember right, it takes 10 ingredients to make a simple meal. A fine meal takes 10 also, but half of it has to be meat, half of it has to be plant. And it gives you better quality meals, which they get a better buff when they eat one. And then get into lavish meals, they get a huge buff for eating those, but it takes more material, more, more foods. It takes much longer to make it, so you're going to get fewer meals out of all of your, your raw materials out there. And it's going to take much longer to make it, so you're going to get few, fewer meals made. But the 
folks that are eating them are going to be so happy their mood's going to you know head up quite significantly so it really depends on what's happening in the colony at the time if everybody's depressed they lost a battle a lot of injuries everybody's aching everybody's angry they're fighting with each other you probably want to throw some lavish meals at them but let's get this going and i'll i'll show you how i do this let's simple meals let's detail i'm only going to do do until you have 10. That's enough for now. And let's see here. Radius will take down to our 60. Skill level, I want at least 6. Maybe even more like 8. Even at 6, you start you, you get food poisoning a little too often for my comfort. Which has got, got uh, uh, colonists barfing in various places. They've got to go clean it up. They've got a big debuff in their mood because they're sick. And if we can avoid that, we've got a great chef. Let's let him, just him, work for now. And eventually Klaus and whoever else we get, maybe a farmer, whoever she's going to be renamed as, will uh, will also um, be a cook. We'll see what her skills are. But um, pause when satisfied. We'll get into that some other time because I'm really running out of time. We're going to see an hour episode, aren't we? Have we already? Seems like like we have hmm. anyway um, we will drop on floor and everything else here is fine I think so close then we will set up a bill for fine meals and that one I want to do until we have 35 add another 25 to it drop on floor Nope, wrong one. Right there, drop on floor. Skill level of more like... Oh, we'll, we'll stick to that 8. It's a 6 minimum, so 8's good. And take that down to around 60 or so. And that good? I don't think I've missed anything there. I'm going to take this and move it to the top. Whenever we do have multiple types of ingredients, you know, some good old rat meat or squirrel meat or or better yet, deer and everything else we're going to get a hold of, turkey. And we've got rice, which is going to be popping here real soon. Whenever we have both meat and vegetables, let's make the better quality one. But when we don't, and this doesn't qualify, they'll drop down to the next possible choice, and they'll start making simple meals out of only turkey meat or only rice. At least we'll get some meals made. Don't want to stockpile a whole bunch of these. We'd much rather have the fine meals, which will give a better buff when they eat them. So that's how I'm going to set that up. Hopefully I haven't missed anything in there. If I have, let me know. And yeah, there are ways to speed the whole process up, make it more efficient. I'm not going to worry about that at this point. When we get into the real kitchen, we'll do that. Right now, we're just going to make a lot of trips. It's close enough. I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to get this done. Handy, could you maybe concentrate right... What time is it? 20, 100? Yeah. Concentrate, say, on that door. And that will get more wood and fill in all the rest of this. You'll get to working on that. All right, did Klaus make it in yet? He should be getting pretty close. He's right there taking his time. She's quite heavy. <laughs> and he's, I'm getting it. I'm almost there. Jantigo, you are cleaning. Can you all oh, bring more materials over to this one? Cannot work on skill levels too low. Cannot work on, so all the materials must be brought here, all right? No, you won't even let me bring materials over. Interesting. Can you work on this one? You can. Work on battery blueprint. Okay, let's bring more. Oops, there I am. Let's bring more materials and fill these up so that Handy can work on those. Okay. Um, what else to do to finish off this episode? Every time I move it, and it seems to pause and jitter like something spawned in. That spooks me every time. Um, who else is out and around here? There is Tomislav. You are bringing con or uh, what do you call them? Components over to what? Oh, the... Oh, he's skilled enough to work on air conditioning. Great. That's good to see. It takes a certain level, I think six, to be able to, to do some of the more complicated jobs. Good to see he can do that. And Handy... Let's see, I need someone else to fill up that stove so that we can start cooking. Um, who's around here that's not doing anything real important right now? Shantigo, you are hauling components to a battery. You're doing some great stuff there. Where is... Rabbit? Let's do this way. Rabbit, double click. You are way. You are searching. F you're going for a squirrel. Okay, you're on hauling mode, and that squirrel was important to you. Okay, well, cool. That gets it over here next to the rat. 
which may or may not still, I don't know when officially one day ends. So this may or may not be uh, rotted by the time we actually start to do it. Heck, because of that, where is, who can do this? Klaus, as soon as you drop that off, drop that, drop her off, then I'm going to have you quickly butcher that one. Because once you do a, something with it, it restarts the timer. Even though that meat is just moments from being rotted, we'll suddenly get another couple of days. So Klaus, I want you to prioritize butchering. You're going to go there, you're going to grab that, and you're going to come back. Okay, we now have Farmer in a prisoner hospital bed. Um, needs not, you know, already starting to tank below the, the first mark on the mood. Uh, it's going to need a meal soon. It's getting some rest. It's not getting any beauty out of this place, not yet. Um, let's go on through, let's see, health. So we know what her health was like. We're going to say let's give you good medicine. Is your character that we want to keep? If not, we'll use something like uh, herbal medicine and just send them on their way afterward. Done over prisoner. We can choose to execute. Everybody will get a, a major debuff if you execute somebody. You can eventually sell them to slavers. They'll get another huge debuff if you do that. You can release them so that once they're healed enough to walk, they'll just leave. And the colony that they came from will be uh, pleased that you let their their person go and didn't keep them as a prisoner and it will actually increase their the faction um, um, happiness with you so releasing prisoners at times is quite beneficial we're done enough here for handy to be filling in the roof good um, you can chat and recruit which is what we're going to do which is going to uh, have Klaus uh, work on recruiting her and chatting with her which gives her a mood buff which will make her happier get her happy enough and she will eventually say yes though there's still a random chance when that's going to happen even though even when she's completely happy or just friendly chat to keep her from going berserk in here and, or breaking out and, and trying to kill us until you finally do release or whatever or you can have no interaction whatsoever not feed them or anything and that's just the situation that's going to go really bad so that's prisoner social have not had any reaction or conversations yet gear there's no gear at all she is completely naked interesting so she got out of there with nothing but her skin out of that uh, that ship that situation okay we don't have any extra clothes sitting around so that's going to be an issue because needs she's going to have a negative six for being naked she is not liking that negative five for being in prison uh feeling bad negative 40 and in shock from exceptional pain negative 20 so that's really going to going to hurt there so with that, Klaus has already got his orders. I need Tomislav to stop what he's doing and tend to Farmer. So he's going to head over, grab some really good quality medicine, bring it back, and get to work on her. Um, we're coming up on 2200. Everyone's going to sleep right now. We've got nice to get actual power out over here. Um, and he's resting. Probably not a lot, a lot more than I can do tonight. Yeah, just let her go. Um, Tomislav is the one who's going to be working into the into the night. Though Klaus, okay, you're busy. Shantigo, you are dropping off. Handy, you could do one thing for me. Can you fuel this up so that it's ready for Shantigo to next episode? I'd appreciate that. <clears throat> Since Shantigo is kind of doing your job by getting these components over to uh, to the battery, I think it was to uh, uh, so that she can be building that next time. Yeah, he's dropping them off there, and that one is now pretty much ready to go. He's working on power conduit? No, he's building a battery. No. Oh. So he's skilled up enough to be able to do some of the complicated jobs, too. Here comes Tomislav. It'd be nice if we had this lamp going, but we don't have power running into this area anyway, so it wouldn't have done any good. All right, let's pop into here. Farmer, health. We can watch what's happening here. And also, you can see a bar going right there, yellow, moving across. I can't zoom in any closer as to what's happening. He's working on probably the torso gunshot. He did 100% quality on that bandage you can see at the bottom of the box there. So he's got some good doctoring skills. We've got 100% quality in that one, which should affect the rate of healing. And then we've got a cracked sternum. He's working on that one. Minor break risk for Klaus. Klaus... Um, do we know why he needs 
He's quite low. He needs some food. Okay. I wanted him to do that. Ah, okay, we're going to make him eat before he goes to bed, or he's going to wake up tomorrow and go berserk on us. But let's get this job done. He's not the only one who could do that. He's not. Klaus, you go grab a meal. And Thomas Slava, I hate to delay you, but why don't you do this for Klaus? So he can he cannot cook. Um, work. And cook. Four. Four and four. So we've got the ability to spur the moment, say, Thomas Slava, can you uh, butcher that squirrel? Actually, that was the squirrel. It wasn't the wasn't the rat. Never mind. Go to bed. Okay. So over here, farmer, health, bandaged up, sleeping, resting, um, incapable of walking, moving, none. So she's just going to sleep the night away, and we'll see how she does in the morning. These guys are going to bed, though Klaus is going to grab a meal before he does so that his food bar can go up and this guy can get much further away from the hard crash uh, mark that he's dangerously close to. Which is saying a lot because he's got a, a happy disposition. He doesn't get cranky very, very easy. Otherwise, I think I am about done here, though there is one last note to make. We've got a lot of people that are interested in this series. I've got a list of about 25 now that want a character. So, you know, I'll ask for everyone's patience. That's that's probably 40, 50 episodes from now before we can even think about filling that list. I'm sure others will, will pop in after, you know, when they hit, finally hit episode one and, and ask to be part of it too. So, the order I'm doing this in, there's two or three that were on the list from the last series he either didn't get in or had asked to be part of any future series that I do already if I ever did Rimworld again and at that point it wasn't a certainty but it was it was certainly a possibility so I I've kept that list and it'd be nice to get a couple of veterans in first to get the the conversations going in the comments kind of role-playing their characters and show everybody how we used to do it so I'm gonna let a couple of those in first and there's uh, uh, one character that didn't make it. I promised her and then uh, it went away and the series ended. And then we're going to start uh, working through this, this list of subscribers. Though, if anybody joins the, the Patreon, the, the group over there, they automatically go to the top of the list, even on top of the ones from the, you know, that are already there from the previous series that were promised. So, patrons go to the top of the list. Otherwise, we'll just work in the order that I that I came across them in the comments. It's the only fair way I can think of doing it, but there's one uh, pledge uh, level on, on the Patreon page that, that guarantees you to be a named character in a series, so that supersedes uh, just randomly picking subscribers. But um, beyond that, anything else? I was going to get into policies, and I didn't, so we'll talk about this next time if I remember. Um, talked about the jail, dealt with the strawberries, kind of. Um, yeah, there was Tony that, that mentioned that. I think that's all of my notes on this page. So, yeah, I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and catch you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.